Jake Ludington here at HP Discover, and I'm here with Paul Miller. And Converge Systems have been uh, in a number of announcements here at HP Discover, but the thing that I'm seeing is that OneView, the uh, management software, is kind of the thing that's tying it all together. Can you talk a little bit about what you're doing there? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, OneView is kind of HP's secret sauce in the infrastructure management standpoint. It's, for people who are not familiar with uh, OneView, let me give you a little background and then I'll talk about what's new. So OneView provides a single pane of glass management that ties together server storage and network management all into one. So customers can stand up a cluster in like five clicks and then monitor and manage it all as one. So it's a really, really powerful tool that customers can learn and progress from. What we announced today is, uh, actually two days ago, sorry, is kind of three significant things. First, integration with operations analytics. So HP's operation analytics integrated into OneView. What this allows us to do is take deep telemetrics on all the infrastructure all the way up through the application. So if you're ever running your, your data center and you see uh, your application's running slower, users are telling it, it'll go through all the logs, literally millions of data points and pinpoint what the issue is. Then you can model that and actually predict how your applications are going to perform in the future. So it's a really cool and powerful tool. You can even suck in big data. This is a kind of a non-real life example, but let's say um, you're a commodity trader and you're an IT administrator for commodity trader and you notice that uh, weather uh, around the world affects the application load. You can actually suck in weather data into this tool and it'll predict how if there's like massive storms somewhere, how the applications will be loaded and perform under you know, duress as customers start to sell their you know, corn stock or whatever based on weather patterns. So it's a very, very powerful tool. One of the other things we did is enable template-driven uh, provisioning of server storage and networking of physical infrastructure. One of the things why VMware grew so fast is because they enabled that through virtual being very easy. Now we give that same ease of deploying infrastructure, but for physical workloads. So think about databases and other things that aren't easily virtualized. Now you have that same experience to deliver applications and infrastructure that way. And the third area is open interoperability. With our Convert System 700, which I think you had people talk about, we now support a Cisco switch. You'll see that as being monitored by OneView as a first step. So we're really you know, proud about what OneView is doing, and it's a big buzz here at the show. So single pane of glass is, is something that everybody talks about, yep. and, and, and then you end up with two or three single panes of glass yep. normally. But what I'm hearing there is that, that OneView actually should at least reduce the number of single panes of glass by, by offering some administration of uh, hardware that isn't necessarily from HP. Correct, and when we talk about single pane of glass, we're not trying to win the single pane of glass war. And in fact, if you're a VMware user, you're using vSphere, you can actually use your vSphere console to actually not only deploy virtualization, but deploy all the underlying hardware underneath it. So you can actually use your single pane of glass to manage our stuff. So you can use our pane of glass or that, or if you're a system center, you use it the same. So we talk about single pane of glass, we mean probably your pane of glass, not single pane of glass. So, so you've kind of got like a, an API layer that people can integrate so that they can use OneView however it makes most sense for their organization. Yeah, what OneView is, is what I call it, it's an automation hub. So it automates the infrastructure and the play between the infrastructure and things like VMware all the way to the cloud, so it's integrated in with cloud, and even things like uh, your runbook. So there's a set of open APIs, so if you're running, let's say, BMC runbooks that keep uh, track of all your changes, you can plug into that as well. So it's a great tool that kind of pulls all your tools together, pulls your infrastructure, whether it be physical infrastructure or software-defined networking, software-defined storage, and then automates it all and keeps track of it, governs it, auto-detects it, and then it, with the OneView uh, plug-in to and the, and the integration with Ops Analytics, now you can do detailed analytics of all that stuff that you're plugging into. So it's a really powerful tool. So you can test whether or not the, the automation that you've implemented is actually doing what you expected it to do. Absolutely, and, and, and get that visibility. The other cool thing about uh, HP OneView is it was designed for ease of use. And we call it consumer-inspired interface. 
and actually here at the show, uh, customers can come up and actually take about a two to three minute tutorial on how to use OneView and deploy, let's say, a server and storage cluster uh, or do a diagnostics of a network failure. And then we put them to a race. And there are customers just competing against each other to see who can get the fastest time of debugging an issue or whatever the tasks we're giving them. So it's really cool. And we've had customers say, I've never had this management experience. How can I you know, learn how to do something this quickly, this fast? You know, it blows away anything that VCE, UCS has in the marketplace. And I will say that I, I went through a tutorial on it. I didn't do the race, but I went through the <laughs> tutorial. And uh, for somebody who does not deploy servers at all, it, it was surprisingly simple. <laughs> well, maybe we should do a race together and <laughs> see who can do the challenge. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks, Paul. Thank you. Have a great day.